Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome all of you to Peace Time Program with me, Monk Sopon Banya Sopono. Today is special as I made this video for everyone. November 7th, it's time that we will meet again every Thursday. And this Thursday, um, I made this because I'm still unavailable to I meet you on live on Zoom and Facebook and YouTube. But anyway, it's a premiere video that you can uh, meditate together with me and friends around the world. So it's just a wonderful moment that I am here uh, helping the ordination program, which is still uh, running at the Makaya Meditation Center in California, in Azusa. So, and I just like to share my good energy from helping the uh, ordination program with you all. Satu. And it's easy and clear that I'll show some picture with you to be with me, okay? So I hope that you can see Okay, so this, uh, what I show you here is I sitting in the box of translation. You know what? This program is running uh, in Thai as an ordination program. We have monks uh, from different places and mainly the monk living in the Makaya Meditation Center, they uh, come to give the ordination to all uh, the men uh, who come and would like to be a monk. So there are seven of them who decided to be a monk this year. For me, I helped with translation, okay? This box is translation uh, box for me that to protect me, not to uh, make a noise for translation. So as you can see that while this ceremony is running, I make a translation for those who are locals or who are non-Thai uh, and non-Buddhist to understand the process of ordination with, uh, with together, you know. So this is uh, special that I'm grateful for helping them. And this program is last for seven days. So this day is on uh, November 3rd, okay, just passed on uh, Sunday. So they all happy, in, especially the parents, their relatives and friends who came to witness the audition, ordination program, this very ancient tradition of Buddhism. So this one of the uh, ordinance, one of the monks, uh, Gonzalo, that he... Uh, the members of meditation class here in Azusa. So I mean, appreciate and rejoice in his merit that he come for ordination. So you can see that he's very happy to be a monk. So I also help him to understand because this is the first time for him to be ordained as well. So this is what about uh, the ordination that not only uh, being a monk, learning Brahma, but also spreading peace, helping the sender to spread peace. From here, you can see every morning we go arms round. You know, some of you may have seen, uh, may see the, on the TV that monks go arms round to receive food from lay people. So the example that we do this, let all monks who practice to receive food from lay people around the village at the Makaya Meditation Center led by our wise abbot, Prakupatya Sotichanyo. So he also our teacher monks who teach uh, the monks to learn more about 
uh, monks life and Buddhism as well. Which is me and part of the mental monks who uh, be part and help, not just only um, helping them, but also be be with them uh, most of the time, switching with another mental monks from Seattle, Monk Mun Fan. Okay. So some of you who residing in Seattle Meditation Center, you uh, would know him very well. Yeah, he's on my left hand side here. So it's such a beautiful uh, picture, right? That it shows uh, how monks live their life in a simple way that they don't work, they don't cook, but receive support from lay people and give back the knowledge, the wisdom and peace to the world through meditation and sharing loving kindness with all people. Actually during meditation at the end, all the monks will think of their goodness, their purity from their meditation, and then think of their parents, their loved ones or supporters who support them to be a monk at this time and share good energy with the whole world. So this I like you to uh, appreciate with me and all other monks. Uh, but still, we are the person who are uh, part of uh, supporting this program and this mission of peace, even do not be with them, but you can see this, how we can connect ourselves with this beautiful moment of sharing peace. The monk's life give us the reflection of how ordinary person can be trained to be the better person to another level of training themselves. So it's not easy to be a monk. I would say that because for me, 11 years in monk life is pretty difficult sometimes as I have to maintain the uh, uh, the precepts, how to behave okay, well, make a good example for the world. This is part of the monk's duty. But you all can see that if you're ready, if you're able to change yourself, you can make it, you can design that what direction you would like to go, right? So obviously meditation is the beginning, the starting point for us to um, understand ourselves, our mind, our emotions, that how we can make our life better to speciality. Absolutely, meditation always gives us the benefits through reducing stress, negativity, and be stronger from inside with positivity, right? So no question about that. Once we close the eyes, make a time to sit down, disconnect ourselves from the outside world, that's the beginning of the change, right? And the change can help us to grow, grow to experience the next level of life. And each person of you, have the, the ability to do so. And I like you to be grateful for yourself. As you are practitioners, just try your best. At least make your life more positive and gain the positive energy. Open our mind to receive the good energy from those around who are doing good. Like today, I shared a beautiful and peaceful moments from meditation with you. I like you to think of it and be grateful for it to connect and be share the good energy with us. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you have any comments on any reflection on this ordination program, feel free to uh, type on the chat box or any question you may have, feel free to have it. So I will be get back to answer your question after, okay? But now uh, it's time for us to have some peace, okay? Peace come from the still mind. Inner peace is already existed within a cell. So we just allow ourselves to explore. Only one way to do is to be still. Do not let our mind to go outside the body. Welcoming the mind back to its home. 
we know that home the mind with inside ourselves, right? With inner self, we feel comfortable, we feel relaxed when we stay at home. Like we say, home sweet home. Now let the mind back to its home through meditation together. I hope you're ready and just sit back and relax and find your most comfortable position at this time. Okay. Find your most comfortable position at this time. You don't need to rush yourself. Okay. You don't need to rush yourself at all. I like you to check your posture at this moment if it's uh, make you feel comfortable. So you can take a look at the background as the beautiful scenery and the nature that help you to calm down and relax. And when you're ready, sovereign gently Close your eyes. Once we close our eyes, we should feel relaxed. We should feel comfortable. Allow your mind to come back to yourself, to the present here and now. It's time to let go of all worries and concerns that may distract your mind. Learn to slow down your thoughts. Disconnect your mind from the outside world from all stories, all responsibilities. We are going to take a rest. Let the mind be still and calm within ourselves. Let us take some deep breaths to embrace the present moment. Feeling refreshed when we breathe in deeply. Allow the fresh air to fill in your body system. Follow the in breath down to the center of your cells that you can feel your stomach expanding while you breathe in very deeply. Slowly breathing out, long and fully, while you're letting go of all negativities from your mind, to relieve and let go of all things. Just take it easy and enjoy the fresh air. It's so nice, so pure when we breathe in and out. This is how we embrace ourselves much more. To be grateful for our life. That we're so fortunate to be alive today. We have air to breathe. We have everything we need at this moment without struggling to find anything much more. Just this moment, just be still and do nothing. That's enough for us to find the inner peace. Finding a balance with the comfort that we have. Allow every single muscle be free from tension, part by part. Starting from relaxing the muscle around our head. 
relaxing the muscle around our face. Relaxing the muscle around your neck, the shoulders, your arms, all the way down to the tips of the, your fingers. Relax. Relaxing the muscle around your torso, around your back, your hips, your legs, all the way down to the tips of your toes. Relaxed. Enjoy the flow of relaxation. The streaming throughout your body. Be free to repeat the relaxation as you like. We don't rush ourselves. Comfort should come first to make us feel relaxed and easily let go of our burdens. It will support our mind to be still and calm easily. We put the importance in comfort. Every moment we should feel relaxed. Just find that balance for yourself. You can use your own tools to make your mind calm and be at ease. That tools could be something, the image that you like, to let your mind stay calm and comfortable with it. That could be the image of the nature that like you see at the beginning, at the background. Or you can use something in the nature like the full moon shining bright within your mind. Enjoy being with the full moon or the nature continuously, relaxingly, for as long as you can. The image will come and go. That's okay. We just try again and again to bring that mind back to stay with that object or image. Just like we learn to do any work for the first time, it would be difficult at the beginning. But once we do often, when we put more mindfulness, effort on that work, so now we can find the skill. It takes less moment to complete it. And the same as meditation, we need to train the mind, tame our mind to be still often. Let me train the animal. The wild animal like horses. At the beginning, we may have difficulty to control and train it. We may need some tool, like the rope, to tie the horse with the pole. 
and we let the horse run around. It's difficult. It is difficult to control. But once the horse learn that there's a rope pulling it, sooner the horse will be tired. Finally, it can be calm and easily listen and be trained. Our mind the same. We need to be patient. Have the image of meditation to bring the mind back. Sooner the mind will learn to be still, learn to be calm by itself without forcing. And finally, there's no need to have any tool as the mind is already in our control in the way that we can let it stay still. It will naturally rest at one point like a calm horse. No need to use a rope or pole to let it stay. Some of us may use other tools to calm down the mind, like the mantra. Mantra can be any words you like, the recitation of positive words, like relax, relax. For the Makaya tradition, the master recommends the word Samma Arahang, using the sound of mantra to bring the mind back, to soften the mind, to be calm and soft. Samma Arahang. Samma Arahang. Samarang Samarang You can enjoy your mantra for many times as you like. As long as you feel comfortable, as long as you like it, until your mind comes to the point where the mind is so calm and still. There's a point where you feel so peaceful, so relaxed, soft and gentle. That means the mind is well trained. It properly still. Once the mind stays still and calm further, this energy of peace will arise automatically. It's the energy that allows ourselves to feel more positive, feel energized and more sinner. That is a good sign that our mind is already on the right path back to his own house, own home, at the center already. What we do is just let the mind be still and calm by itself. Just observe the mind, enjoy the stream of peace, enjoy the stream of happiness that coming from the positive energy. There's nothing to expect, to desire to see it. No such things in meditations. We learn to do nothing. Learn to be neutral. Let the mind purify itself. 
just maintain awareness with a good feeling continuously, comfortably, for as long as we can. From now on, let us continue a peace journey. Continue to cultivate peace together in silence.
Maintain still. Maintain relax. Continue to enjoy our inner peace. Stay refreshed. Enjoy the stream of peace for as long as we like. When we feel satisfied and enjoyable, that means we practice correctly. There's no need to do anything. Continue to let the mind to purify itself. Let the mind be still on its own. We learn to be the good observer that whatever happening during meditation, whatever inexperience we may have, simply observe and let it be. Be still and do nothing. When we learn to do nothing, a mind will go deeper in peace by itself. Becoming deeper in inner happiness. More center, more still. That allow ourselves to feel energized with a sense of purity that we can sense by ourselves with a sense of lightness the sense of contentment as a result we may experience the inner brightness we may experience the quality that our mind becoming expansive with openness. We becoming oneness with the stream of peace, the stream of positive energy. Simply stay a mind like there. Stay in the moment of peace continuously. This is the path to purity, the path to remove the negativity. It's cleansing process of our mind. Continue to enjoy our inner peace. Allow it to expand and radiate from inside at the center. As we allow the mind to be more still, properly full of peace energy, it's a right moment for us to share it with ourselves. Sharing good energy with ourselves. Let us gently recall our goodness that we have done from the past. 
simply regretful for the good moment that we have done for self, for our loved ones and those around. Be grateful for our morality. Be grateful for our peace that we have gained from our meditation. May the power of goodness come by with the peace energy from the center. Let it become the purity of peace, becoming the sphere of brightness that will be love and kindness. Keep expanding and radiating from inside. With this positive energy, may our life be fulfilled with happiness, with peace and joy. May we be free from suffering and miseries. May we be well, healthy, wealthy and successful. May we be protected, be safe from all dangers and harm. Have the strength to overcome any obstacles in life easily. Have the sea chilled from inside that help us to avoid any bad activity, any bad actions, becoming the strength for us to do only good things. Have the strength to take good care of our loved ones and make change in our life to be better. And then we allow the good energy to expand further, expanding the sphere of happiness that will of love and kindness further and wider. Let the exaggerate expand, covering the whole house, covering the whole neighborhood, expanding loving kindness, covering the whole city, covering the whole state. Spreading peace and love, covering the whole country, covering the whole world and beyond. Sharing loving kindness with our loved ones, either living or pass away. Wishing them happiness, peace and joy. May they be free from suffering and miseries. May they be well, healthy, wealthy and successful. May they be protected, be safe from all dangers and harm. If they are past, may they rest in peace and be happy at all times. Expanding loving kindness further reaching all living beings wherever they are, reaching all people who we know and we don't know, with no exception, expanding loving kindness, compassion, reaching their hearts, reaching them being free from suffering and miseries. May they be well, free from sickness, free from sorrow and sadness. May they live together in peace and harmony, with no conflict, no violence, hatred and wars. For those who pass away, may they rest in peace, and be happy at all times. At this moment, let us make our own good wishes. We allow good energy to help fulfill our good wishes come true easily. Let us continue to make good wishes 
and share loving kindness together for moments. We stay calm and content at the center of the body, we are the middle of the brightness of loving kindness, of peacefulness. As we are coming to the inner session, let us softly and gently allow awareness to expand from the center of the body. Casually feel our body sensations, embracing the fresh air around with some deep breaths, inhaling deeply, exhaling slowly and long, embracing the fresh air around. Be in peace and joy at the center while we receiving the blessing. Sape Buddha Palapata Pajeka Nanjayang Palang Arahanta Nanjate Chenara Kang Panta Misapaso Sapaputta Nupawena Sapatama Nupawena now softly and gently, whenever you're ready, slowly opening your eyes. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoy your inner peace. I hope you are able to connect your mind with their source of pure energy within yourselves. Have more positivity within your mind. Right? So feel free to share your experience if you like. Feel free to let our friends know how meditation, this session help you. So this is peace time, right? The time that we gain the inner peace within, from within ourselves, which is already there, await us to explore, experience, whenever we come down and meditate. We know that, right? For those of you who knew for meditation, so... Just embrace and grateful for the good energy that you have gained. You might need to fix and adjust your practice time to time to make you feel comfortable and satisfied with your own meditation. So finding your balance, that's the technique in the meditation. So the master said that meditation can be called the way to find the balance, finding the moderation in the mind. So we don't need to try hard. We don't need to force ourselves. We don't need to expect anything. As we learn to let the mind be still and calm, so that means the mind should, shouldn't be active should be inactive, right? And the more we let the mind still, the positive energy will grow and fulfill our mind with positivity. And at the same time, it eliminates the power of negativity in our mind bit by bit more and more. Imagine when we keep cleaning the mind this way, the mind becomes 
get used to be in the passive state. That means we are able to have the shield for the mind to deal with the negativity around or any problems better. So this is what I like you to stick on your practice and learn to meditate regularly. Even you don't have much time because of your busy with your work, daily life. So please find your peace time during the day, maybe a few minutes, maybe the break time for you to just close your eyes, think of the mantra, just take some deep breaths, everything that make you come back to yourself, just do that. It becomes your own strength that you can overcome any bad situation or difficulties you may have. Okay. And before we uh, finish the program tonight, as a program that I made the video for you to keep your meditation. But anyway, during I am in Thailand next week and in November, because I'm planning to join the uh, two week of meditation retreat at my main temple in Thailand, during November uh, 17 to December 1st. So I won't be able to do peace time with you. So I'm sorry for that. But anyway, I hope that you can meditate by yourself with other teacher monks, especially uh, including a monk print and other monks who uh, offer meditation online with you. So, or even go to the in-person classes uh, your nearby meditation center. So this will help you to uh, keep your consistency in meditation. And I will uh, share my meditation uh, technique that I have learned this time with you right after I come, uh, I finished. So I like to uh, let you know again, like to Did you see that actually uh, the schedule uh, of peace time that I like you to get is uh, during uh, November. It's the last time in November. And next one going to be in Thailand. It's life. So I will be live in Thailand on December 12th. Okay. So that day, uh, possibly I will be in my hometown in Plampang, northern part of Thailand. I think I will come by with story from my family that I will meet my dad, my family members and share some wisdom with you. And also, 19 December, I also do live in Thailand as well. For those of you in USA, this coming up uh, full moon meditation. Okay, so full moon meditation is coming up on uh, this uh, November 15. It's it will be on Friday, right? Friday. So I like you to. Mark on your calendar, okay? With Monk Daniel, he will come meet us on Zoom, okay? This, the Zoom of uh, my, my gym, okay, my gym, uh, Inner Peace Channel. So the same Zoom that you usually join on Peace Time. And uh, we also live on Facebook pages from different uh, meditation center web, uh, Facebook page including the YouTube channel of uh, my gym as well. So don't forget, this is a big event happening once a month under the full moon night. So our time in USA will be different. Uh, so just like in California, Pacific time start at 6 o'clock in the evening, right? For the Eastern time, 
It's gonna be uh, nine o'clock at night time evening. So just check it out on Zoom. Okay. And okay, so before we part, I like to uh, let you take good care of your mind that meditate regularly, like I said, be like you take a shower, okay, take a shower for yourself to clean your body, right? When you get dirty, uh, you work in time day, you feel uncomfortable, right? And you want to take a shower. So when you go to take a shower, you kind of feel really relieved, right? We feel really refreshed while we let the water rinse our body and enjoy. Some of you may enjoy uh, sing a song, maybe uh, you uh, really, don't worry about anything because the water rinsing our body, that means we feel good. And sometimes we got a good idea, a good moment, good feeling during taking a shower as well. So pretty much the same, we cleanse the mind through meditation. Just take some time once or twice a day, or at least, okay, at least to shower your mind through meditation. Okay, during the taking a shower for the mind, just don't worry about anything. Just let the peace energy cleanse the mind. And then along the process of meditation or cleansing, be grateful and enjoy uh, the purity from the meditation. Okay, so this is what I think uh, many of you already uh, do already regularly. So keep on your good work mm -hmm. and also during the day try not to attach your mind with negativity i know that it's not that easy to get away from it right negativity be around with situation with impurities in the mind as, as well that try to take control of mind with anger for example with a uh, craving desire or uh, confusion for delusion. So this, what we need to handle, okay, try to manage the time to handle this, keep positive, keep the good emotion, okay, smile to yourself, smile to your loved ones, take, spend time, take good care, of the person who uh, worth for you, who is worth for you, or you love the most. So do not Waste your time, drain your energy with someone is not right. So it's not because our lives are supposed to be happy, right? So try your best to be happy and don't worry. That's it. Okay. With that, I like to give you the blessing. Okay. So I like to close your eyes and maintain your mind peaceful within yourself while you're receiving the blessing. With the power of purity of the masters, great master, and myself, with the power of peace that we have gained from meditation, may the power of purity and peace come together as a brightness shining bright in your mind that help eliminate the darkness in your life. May you be blessed with good health, wealth, longevity, and wisdom. May you be safe from all dangers and harm. Be protected, be safe and sound, free from sickness, free from all difficulties. May your good wishes come true easily whenever you come to meditate. May you able to attain the true happiness, the state of freedom from all negativity easily and forever. Satu. Thank you very much for joining Peace Time with me today. Again, have the Thai sleeve in USA. Have a wonderful day around the world. Hope to see you next time in Thailand on life. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye. Satu. -bye.